Hi there, it's Marta from Clinical Nutrition. Today I'd like to talk to you about a process that we could argue is the most critical processes that underpins our health and well-being. This process is called methylation. Proper understanding of how it works and how we can support it with dietary and lifestyle recommendations can really help us to optimise our health. So what exactly is methylation? Methylation is the addition of a methyl group onto different chemicals and these could be toxins from the environment, it could be your hormones, DNA, proteins, neurotransmitters and so on. This process is reliant on many different nutrients but in particular folate as a methyl folate or vitamin B12 as a methylcobalamin. Together those nutrients create something called SAMe, S-adenosylmethionine. And this SAMe acts as a methyl donor. It gives away its methyl groups to all those different molecules that we've just mentioned and therefore facilitates different methylation dependent functions. And these include energy production, supporting your nervous system and neurotransmitter imbalance, getting rid of excess environmental toxins like BPA from plastics or heavy metals from air pollution, for example. It also supports growth and repair and your hormonal balance. So you can see how important that process is. Unfortunately, some of us are not very good at methylating and that can lead to a, an array of different symptoms or even disease. And this could be due to different genetic factors as well as nutrient deficiencies, especially folate and B12, but also environmental factors such as high stress levels or high toxic burden, for example. So how would you know that you have a problem with methylation? Well, just as it functions, the symptoms of methylation imbalances can be very diverse. However, we can often see problems with the nervous system. So sometimes that can present as anxiety, depression, OCD, or even psychiatric disorders, such as bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. Methylation is also very important for your hormonal balance, especially for females and estrogen metabolism. Therefore, if it's not working properly, we may see things like PMS, irregular cycles, or even fibroids or endometriosis. Other problems um, caused by methylation imbalances include autoimmune conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, as well as allergies like hay fever or eczema, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, infertility and so on. So what can you do to improve that process and support your methylation? Well, make sure your diet is rich in all of those nutrients that we've mentioned, so folate, B12, but also cofactors, magnesium, zinc, um, and so on. So include plenty of green leafy vegetables and cruciferous vegetables, but also good sources of protein like good quality eggs, meat, fish, nuts and seeds, and so on. Also try to reduce stress and pretend maybe include some meditation or yoga, um, to help to reduce that body burden. Try to reduce toxins in the environment around you, so make sure you buy organic food as much as possible and use organic and natural skincare. All of these things can really improve how methylation is working and potentially even have a positive effect on those symptoms or even different conditions that we've mentioned. However, if you're already displaying some of those symptoms or if you're deficient, for example, sometimes the diet is not enough. And therefore, for some people, supplementing with a good quality multivitamin that provides methylfolate and vitamin B12 as methylcobalamin can be really helpful. On top of that, um, if, you, if your digestion is not working well and you find it difficult to absorb nutrients, liquid nutrients might be very beneficial and easy for you to absorb. And this is particularly important for pregnant women and preconception because that's a time of growth and um, need for extra nutrients. So I hope you found this video helpful to understand a little bit about methylation and how you can support it with diet and lifestyle. But as you can understand, it's quite a complex and complicated process. So if you have any questions or would like to know a little bit more about it, please give our clinical nutrition a call or contact us via email and one of our nutritionists will be more than happy to help you.